got the badge. What do you got? Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Just do what I gotta do. Why do you have to be the one to go after it? You can't hide. I don't know. I just do. Amory, Riley, Jeff in Vegas. Hello. Hello, Jeff. Oh, so good to see you guys again for season two of Hightown. I'm four episodes in. Man, I love it. Uh, it's you know what? I, I envy you because I haven't seen it. I don't think we've seen anything. Have you seen nothing. anything? We've seen nothing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I know something you don't. Yes. <laughs> well, you would do. We should interview you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, you know, Amory, Frankie is out. Man, time to get back to business, but no yeah. product is coming in. He's making deals, but Great White is killing teenagers in P-Town. So what's he going to do? Well, Frankie now is going to, I mean, he was in the season one, he was being the puppeteer. He was being like the mastermind. It's, in, it's interesting how everything came full circle. You know, when we were, he was asking his beautiful fiance to start doing certain things with uh, with a with a cop, with a brute. So, we didn't realize people were not getting it until we get at the end how you know it was all manipulated and how we ended up being able to get free. Now he's out and he's uh, he's going to take matters on his own hands. It's 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 game time, and now he's bringing a new player into the game. You know he he's bringing his cousin, who's uh, he's ruthless as can be, and uh, he's played by the amazing Luis Guzman. So we're going to see. Let me tell you, I can't I can't speak enough of the writing that Rebecca Cutter and the group of writers are, are, have done for season two. I mean, season one was already great I, in, my, in my perspective. I mean, I've been very blessed to be in shows like this, but this is beyond. But season two, just to, I mean, and, I, and Riley will tell, I mean, every script was like, did you see what happened? Did you yeah. see what's gonna happen? I mean, it was just insane. And it's, it's like a roller coaster. It grabs you and it doesn't let you, let you go. Yeah, because Riley, you know, Renee isn't happy this season. Frankie wants her to help run the club. Is that a step backwards for her? You know, I think she's slightly unhappy because she just thought that once he was out, things would be different and that her life would be different and she could live more of a normal life. And so when he asked her to work the club, well, she may not be happy about it. I don't think it's a step down. I think it's a step up. She's not dancing anymore. She's starting to run things. She's using her strengths. Um, she knows her strengths and knows how to use them. And uh, so it's still, I think we still find her in a stronger position than we did last season. And instead of being a pawn in the game, she's more of a game player now. And, hey, you know, Amory, you know, Luis Guzman, I just saw him here a few months ago in Vegas. He was here at the Mob Museum for his movie, The Birthday Cake. I know him for his comedy, but man, he is explosive in this. You know, but when Frankie and Jorge had that conversation with Gumdrop, you know, no spoilers, but I was like, I mean, he was, he's doing stuff in this series that is, he's never done before. No, listen, I mean, I, I, I grew up watching Ruiz and, you know, com he's such a versatile actor, comedy, drama. I mean, who can forget him in, in Carlito's way playing Pachanga? So, uh, I mean, having him on, on the show was just, uh, it, it's, it's an upgrade. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the show was, like I said, it's already an amazing show. We have an amazing cast, but he took, you know, he, he elevated uh, every single one of us. I mean, working with him was just amazing. And and yes, he is. I mean, that that gumdrop without giving any spoilers. Uh, <laughs> but I ha but I have another great scene. And again, not many spoilers. Was my first scene with him, in which we're in the VIP room at the uh, at the strip club, and it was just fascinating <laughs> to watch. But we have these two beautiful, you know, actresses working with us, trying to keep it. You know, you know. I'm trying to keep the, the whole conversation about business and he's just joking about, listen, I just got out of prison. Can I have some fun with these ladies? And, yeah. uh, and I mean, he just, he finds the humor on everything, on everything. And, and, and it just fits like a glove. I mean, he's, he's, he's brilliant. You guys yeah. were both, you're both amazing. Riley, you were just incredible this season. I wish I could talk more about this or wrap me up. And I have to say, Amory, South of Heaven was one of my favorite films this year. Oh. You played Manny. I mean, you were you were barely in it, but man, you left a no, footprint but, in that movie. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. It's a little beautiful. Uh, one of those movies that you do them for the love of the game, and I'm so very proud of it. So thank you for watching, and thank you for uh, the, you know the, your comments. Yes, great job, guys. Thanks so much. We'll talk again for season three. Okay, take care. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>